Good. I see you have the furs. Galen has probably set up his tent on the village green. He'll be enjoying the fair with the rest of the townsfolk. Last season, I asked him to bring a duskwood bow to trade. Sell him the furs and use the coins it gives you to purchase the bow. Your friends await you at the bridge. I suppose you're anxious to see the fair. But don't forget to trade with Galen. Are. Come on, the fair's already started. It's the biggest fair in years. There's folk in from all the outlying farms, and even a few from outside the mare. That means a big audience. A big audience, all cheering for us. This year's our last chance to compete for the Harvest Cup. Our last chance to win. Don't say that. You two are the only family I've got. Apart from Tarmus, anyway, and he hardly counts. Besides, we're a team. I know this town hasn't seen anybody as talented as you since Cormac left, but you can't do everything yourself. Look, just forget it. Let's go sign up with Georg. He's waiting in the village square. And the blight. You're sure it's spreading, Orlin? It's no blight, Georg. It's something else. There's no mold, no rot. It's like the crops don't want to grow. It's like they're having the guts to up and face the sun. What do the druids say? Well, it's just a rub, Georg. There's no druids to be found. Not head nor heel. It used to be they'd warn me of troubles, long before I noticed the signs myself. But this time, we're out in silence. You think we ought to say something? Everyone's gathered for the fair. Even from the outlying farms. No. They ought to be free from cares, at least for a day. We'll go round tomorrow. Talk to the households one by one. Right you are, Georg. Tomorrow, then. Aha! Uh -huh. I've been wondering when I'd see the three of you. Last year to compete, isn't that right? Rules are the same as ever. Win three of the four events, and you win the Harvest Cup. Win all four, and the Village Council grants you a special prize. <laughs> and nobody's done that since old Cormac. Oh, that boy was a legend. Oh, I'm sure there's a hundred Cormacs in a city like Neverwinter. But for this town, he was as big as folks get. Old Cormac fought Lawn Starling in the brawl, <laughs> and some story that was. <laughs> but I don't suppose you have time for stories just now. Well, there's the Harvest Brawl, <laughs> old favorite that one, and the Tourney of Talent. But you've got Amy on your team, so you're certain to win. Thanks, Georg. Just the truth, young lady. Your foster father's running the archery competition, as always, and I managed to convince Tarmus to supervise the Knave's Challenge. I guess the Knave's Challenge will be your toughest event, though the Mossfeld boys might say otherwise. Well, Will and his brothers have won the Harvest Brawl three years running. It'll be tough to dislodge them. <laughs> but remember, you only have to win three events to claim the cup. Keep an eye on Bevel, and don't let the Mossfelds get him riled. That's how they always beat him on the practice field. Yeesh, Georg, I'm right here, you know. If you have any troubles, you know where to find me. <laughs> oh, and good luck in the brawl!
what now? Yes. Indeed. Yes. So, you've decided to compete for the cup, I see. I know this is your last year, but the rules apply to all, even foster sons. Fetch a crossbow from the barrel and take a few shots at the practice target. You must hit the target once before you can compete. Are you ready to compete then? The rules are the same as last year. Ten shots and ten targets. Your targets will be old bottles set atop the crates yonder. Five is the best score so far. If you remember the lessons that have been taught to you, you should be able to best that. Let's make the... No sense in delaying this. Let's 
Let's make this quick. If I have to. Well done. I think your score will stand this year, but I will remain here until day's end, awaiting those who wish to shoot for fun. Go on now, there's still more of the fair to see. Enjoying the fair? Packs of feral children set loose to find trinkets. Grown men braining one another with clubs. Do you know they're actually granting prizes for the fattest pig? As if the creatures needed encouragement. Who's grumbling? They've given me charge of the knave's challenge. I always tell them we ought to encourage thievery in our children. Good for the mind. We live in a swamp after all. What else is there to do? Come to think of it, I don't believe any of you has the skills to compete. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. But you'll need to find someone who can pick pockets and break locks and search for hidden trinkets if you want to compete. Lock breakers? Pocket pickers? I don't know anyone like that. Do you? What about Kip? He's always nicking vials from Tarmus, and he's right over there behind the tent. right. This pig's been enchanted. It's a faint aura, so it could have been a simple enlargement spell, or maybe a potion. Well, Retta did give us a scroll of Lesser Dispel. All I'd have to do is read the words. Wait a minute. Uh, shouldn't we say something to Louis? He's a foul old wretch. But we ought to give him a chance to withdraw his pig from the contest before he's shamed in front of everyone.
Yes, indeed. I... What now? Isn't that the boy who stole my basilisk eyelash? And not once, but four times. That's right. My frog needed eyelashes. Then I got him a sweetheart and she needed him too. Don't trouble yourself on my account. I'll settle with the young artiste and his frogs later. Before you begin, I suppose you'll want to hear the rhyme. You hadn't heard? Better for me if I'd kept my peace. Georg asked for a rhyme this year. That's what wizards do. We compose rhymes. Here, I'll demonstrate. <coughs> I've hidden three feathers, scattered them wide, placed white in a box, and locked it inside. Blue followed termite tracks down where they ran, green in the pocket of same colored man. Yes, you and half the waifs in West Harbor. I adore children, did you know that? Swamp children, particularly. It's a riddle, right, Tarmus? The white feathers locked in a box, the blue feathers hidden beneath something. Probably something that would attract termites. It's in somebody's pocket, right? Somebody dressed in green, I'd bet? Yes, you have the right of it. But you'll have to take the feather from the fellow's pocket without him noticing. That's the challenge. of same colored man. I'll bet that's him over by the house. The feather's in his pocket. It's got to be. Follow me, and try to keep up. It really is a dreadful day for a fair. Not even the tents are managing to look cheerful. 
Thank the gods. The knave's challenge is won, and I can go someplace dry. I believe that means you've won the cup as well. Probably best to tell Georg. You know the fellow. Large. Cheery. Talks a bit. Well played! You've won the cup! And all four events! Nobody's done that since Cormac! That warrants a special reward, of course. I have a harvest cloak for you, courtesy of the village council. It'll be yours at the end of the day. I'll meet you at the stage when you're ready for the victory speech. Oh, you'd better finish your business with Galen first. Dagon asked me to remind you. Now this way, everyone! What now? Finish your business with Galen. My speech can wait. You shot well today. I do not think your score will be bested. A fine bow. A fine one. Made by one who loves his craft. You may keep the rest of the gold as your allowance for the season. Some good has come of this day. Georg has passed word for you to see him on the stage. You've won the cup, it seems. Gather round, mates! Gather round! This harvest fair's a celebration. But it's also a dark anniversary. We all know what else happened on this day. Not so long ago, we nearly lost this village. Almost lost our lives. Almost lost it all. But we came back. Cleared burnt farms, buried our dead, and put our ashes behind us. And we rebuilt. Tougher and stronger than ever. Long as there's a harvest fair, we won't forget that day. And our young folks, they'll stay tough. Long as they compete for the Harvest Cup. So let's hear it for this year's winners! Three cheers for the Harvest Champions! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray!